I was at Hobby Lobby last night. They've got their frames on sale right now. And I saw this beautiful gold frame. And I could not pass it up because I thought this kind of reminds me of, y'all know, the special frames out there that are kind of pricey. Um, I've bought one or two for gifts. We're going to use this with that tonight. And I'm going to show y'all kind of what I came up with. Um, I don't know where to really start. So a lot of times I will use these um, transfers. I don't know if y'all are familiar with these. Some of them are in color. Some of them are in the black and white like this. We're gonna use this right here called Bees and Queens. All right, so we're gonna take this out. I'm gonna go ahead and trace kind of a little um, kind of background, if you will. We'll use my piece of glass here. For those of you that have scrapbooked, Y'all know that these little mounting squares are so handy when you're trying to do stuff with frames. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting this prepped. So let's just get this mounted on. We're going to set this aside for just a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and cut. So this is what we're going to be using, and I know it's backwards, I apologize, but it's bees and queens, okay? And now, this was how this is how I fixed it in my mind. <laughs> I think I already showed y'all that other piece. Since I couldn't do anything in here, this is just going to be the backdrop, and what I'm going to do is we're going to take another kind of a mat, if you will, this color of scrapbook paper, okay? It's a little bit like parchment. We're going to do that color of scrapbook paper. And um, I'm going to do this on the glass, okay? So that takes care of not being able to see it going right on top of the... Um, I want to make sure I'm in my frame. So let me go ahead and put this back together. All right to here. I'm going to just kind of sketch this out right quick. Because once I get this centered, y'all, I gotta put that glass back in there. It's not gonna do right. All right. And we get our mounting square back out. Let's see what I do with those. Put them up. Okay. Let me see. I want this as centered as I can get it. We kind of have these little diamonds to help guide us, so to speak. There we go, it is down. Now, let me think. In order to do the transfer, I'm gonna have to get my glass again. There's a lot of back and forth with this, you guys, or it's not, um, it's not gonna be centered. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right on top of that um, piece on the glass very carefully, okay? And now that I know where I want it, I'm going to take the glass off. Okay, we are almost there. And it's so satisfying when you can lift this off. Oh, yes, we are done. Okay, y'all. How cute. I know it's backwards. I'm going to show y'all this way so that it's not backwards. Isn't that cute? Okay. not done. We've got to bling it up. Here is this peak. I'm going to put this one in the corner. Y'all, this is going to be so cute. I'm put it right there. I'm going to hold that down for just a minute. It's the um, gold crown with the rhinestones. That's going to go up in the corner. So let me just get concentrate here and get the glue where I need it so that we can get a good hold. Alrighty, you guys, what do you think? Y'all like that? Alrighty, you guys, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get, that's kind of our fancy one. We're gonna move on here to this other one. We use a lot of 10 by 10 rounds. They are available at Hobby Lobby on the um, wood pile aisle. I 
think there's six in a set. Yes, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint this right quick and then I'm gonna show y'all an idea that you can do using things from Dollar Tree. use these a lot to kind of look rustic. <clears throat> okay, since this is around and this is so long, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a good place here to sever this because, let me think here, this is basically one piece. Um, I'm just gonna have to cut it to where it makes sense. These are just kind of plastic. If y'all have ever dealt with these before, they're very easy to work with. Now, I want to leave room because I'm going to make a bow. So, let me think here. I'm going to put this. It would be easier if I put the last word first because it's longer. You kind of have to be careful when you tear. They're not going to tear, but you just kind of, kind of have to work with it to get it off. Now, I've never used these on this. I've never used these on actual wall. That's what they're supposed to be used on. So I can't attest to um, if you use it on your wall, if it's gonna come off or not, like it says. So just being honest with you guys, I've never used them for what they're supposed to be used for. So I'm gonna put that there. I love this saying. I'm gonna put this kind of to the side just because I don't want that bow covering it up. Okay, and I know it'll look backwards, but it says faith can move mountains. I love that font too. Now we're gonna go make our bow. I've got you guys. Let me do something first. I'm gonna take some of this really pretty um, satin ribbon and go ahead while I can lay this on the opposite side, or over. I'm gonna make a little um, way to hang it. I'm just gonna simply place it on the back here. And I'll show y'all another way that you can display this if you don't wanna hang it, but that gives a little something at the top too. All right, we're gonna use the Harlequin ribbon. That's where I said these kind of have something in common. And I'll show y'all right quick what my Fobo is. That's what I named it. Um, now, the techniques have been done before, only I put them together and then I stack ribbon a lot of times. Um, I don't have any tool in here. A lot of times I'll put tool on the top too. But um, what I do is I just do like an infinity ribbon and I get it about as big as I want it, and I collapse it down, squish it together. You're probably gonna want this bigger than that though. I just kinda eyeball and then figure out what I wanna do. I want the bow just a little bit bigger. So, and wire edge just is the best ribbon to use. Okay, that's about big enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I always use a certain pair of scissors to cut ribbon too, you guys. I don't use paper, I don't use those on paper or anything else, just ribbon. Keeps them good and sharp. Okay, then I've got a little piece of twine, and I'm just gonna tie this off. time at all you guys this has a pin but if you get a good pair of um, wire cutters and you just kind of what I do is I hold it you got to be careful because some of it's a little bit pointy 
but just start rocking it back and forth and that will come off there usually pretty pretty easy there you go just make sure it's close first so you don't pick uh, stick yourself just kind of rock it there we go okay. isn't that pretty I'm gonna lay that right across there not all the words after all let me show y'all another way y'all can use a black one but I grabbed this because it has a little bit of um, black in the um, iron there it's very kind of antique and chic looking so this is another way if you don't want to hang it by this then you can put it on one of these little stands you can get them anywhere I get mine at Hobby Lobby but that is our ideas for tonight y'all so there's two different ways um, for y'all to do these if you don't have the, the transfers then go to your Dollar Tree and um, buy these little wall decals so that will be the little hanger totally dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies check us out at totally dazzled.com but before you do click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials